Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we receive the grace of God freely into our hearts. And Jesus reminds us today that what we receive for free, we also give freely to others. And so to prepare ourselves to receive this grace of God in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, let your servants speak earnestly to my Lord and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord asked your servants, Have you a father or another brother? So he said to my Lord, We have an aged father and a young brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dots on him. Then you told your then you told your servants, Bring him down to me that my eyes may look on him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we return to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him, We cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant our father said to us, As you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I had not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my white head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants, so he cried out, Have everyone withdraw from me. Thus, no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him, and so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give him no answer, so dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now... Do not be distressed and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crops that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus teaches us today, as he did his disciples, the meaning of grace. What is grace for Jesus? Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin para kay Jesus ng biyaya? I remember in the seminary, we studied this for one semester. The title of the course is Grace. So, there is uh, one subject, one semester, just about grace. What is grace? Imagine we were able to, our professor was able to uh, say something for one semester about grace. But let me just, uh, let me just, point out one teaching of Jesus about grace. And Jesus in our gospel today instructs his disciples. He said, without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Tinanggap nyo ng walang bayad at libre ibibigay nyo rin sa kapwa ng walang bayad. I think this is a good summary of the teaching about grace. Because grace from God is freely given to us. We do not deserve the grace. We did not pay for the grace. God freely gives grace to us. And when we recognize that everything that we have is grace from God, then we are also able to share it freely to others. Tinuturuan po tayo ni Jesus ngayong araw na ang biyaya ay ibinibigay sa atin ng Panginoon ng walang kondisyon. Hindi natin binayaran ang biyaya at kailanman hindi natin mababayaran ang biyaya ng Diyos. This is the experience of the brothers of Joseph in our first reading today. We have been listening about the story of Joseph and his brothers for the past days. 
And today, they were able to come face to face with Joseph, the brother whom they despised, they sold to slavery. They came face to face with Joseph. And when Joseph finally revealed himself to them, I am your brother, Joseph, the one you sold, the one you nearly killed. And the brothers were surprised. How come you are good to us? Hindi ba? Binenta ka namin, kapatid ka namin, pero tinakwil ka namin. Ibinenta ka namin sa iba. Pero nagulat sila. Ngayon, kabutihan ang ipinalit mo sa amin. How did we deserve to be treated like this? That is grace. They did not deserve to be treated well. In fact, they deserve to be punished because of what they did to their brother Joseph. But they were able to recognize that grace is not something you deserve. Grace is not something that you can pay. Grace is something that God freely gives us. And Joseph also was able to recognize this grace. Towards the end of the first reading, Joseph beautifully said, Do not be distressed for having sold me here. He said, It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. Imagine, Joseph was sold by his brothers as a slave, but now he even recognizes his being sold to slavery as a grace from God so that I could be sent here ahead of you so that I could save your lives. Grace coming from God. Goodness of God that we do not deserve. Goodness of God that we did not pay for. But God freely gives us this grace. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Mass, I want all of you to thank God today for any grace that you have received. And remember, let us remember that, God, that that grace given by God to you is given freely and we do not deserve it. The only way that we could replace this grace is not through payment, but only through a heart that is sincerely grateful to God. Ngayong araw po, mga kapatid, isipin po natin, ano kaya ang biyayang natanggap ko sa Diyos na hindi ko naman deserve, hindi naman ako karapat dapat, pero ibinigay pa rin ng Diyos sa akin. Kahit hindi ako karapat dapat at hindi ko mababayaran ito sa Diyos kahit kailan. Yan ang biyaya. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, tuwing ako ay magmimisa at tuwing hahawakan ko ang katawan ni Kristo, itataas ko ang kalis na dugo ni Kristo, parang ganyan po ang pakiramdam ko. Sino ba ako para piliin ng Diyos bilang pari? Hindi naman ako mas banal sa inyo. In fact, marami pang tao ang mas mabuti mas madasalin, mas banal sa akin. Pero tuwing magmimisa ako, itong pinagpapasalamat ko sa Diyos. 
Panginoon, hindi ako karapat dapat maging pari. Pero ang pagiging pari ko ay tunay ngang biyaya mo. Hindi ako karapat dapat at kahit kailan, hindi ko mababayaran. Ang tanging magagawa ko lang ay magpasalamat galing sa aking puso. Yan ang biyaya. Mga kapatid, ngayong araw, kilalani natin ang biyaya ng Diyos. Grace freely given to us. And we pray that by recognizing God's grace freely given, we are able to thank God and share this also freely to others. That is grace. Amen. Please stand. We are included in God's eternal plan. Each of us has been chosen in Christ for some hidden purpose. Our prayerful petitions come before the God who knows and cares for us. For every petition, let us say, God of generosity, hear us. God of generosity, hear us that the Church may continue to call and send more missionaries to preach the salvation of God, let us pray to the Lord, God, God of generosity, generosity, hear us, that people who are confused or lacking self-respect may learn of God's plan for them. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of generosity, generosity hear us. us that mercy may be shown to those who reject God's messengers and the truth they bring, let us pray to the Lord, God, God of generosity, generosity, hear us, that the seriously ill may welcome the sacrament of holy anointing, let us pray to the Lord, God, God of generosity, generosity hear us, that the faithful departed may join Christ in the final glory of His kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, hear us. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, You have adopted us as Your children. Help us to appreciate Your many blessings as we offer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Lord, we give our gifts.